Hey love bugs, it's Riles and Mecca you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been uh, watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and um if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe or uplift that you truly need it please go ahead and share um i'm bringing back my uh tarot card readings um i'm on the uh is for the month of may for the sign of aries uh not everybody is going to resonate with um with this uh reading and it's okay if you don't apply let it fly anybody uh is interested in uh interested in a private reading you know please let me know i have my contact information in the description box below Alrighty, alrighty. what does aries have to know about what is going on for them for the month of may what is aries the beautiful sign of aries have that's going on for the month of may listening you say universe you you've been getting straight oh uh, hey you've been getting straight strict with yourself you know what you want into your life and you've really been listening you know different things has been taking place and you've been seeing the life lessons and you've been going through change rapidly you know there are certain things may have been hitting you heavy um and you may have been affected by it but you're not allowing that to stop your flow and that's good and there's a celebration for that aries you got a celebration coming in for you that is good. It's like, shoot, listening. They probably tell you, celebrate, good time, come on. You need that in your life. Shoot, who wouldn't want a daggone celebration? That's good when it's starting off like that. But your meditation. You need to get back on your meditation. If you have been taking a pause for the cause, this is telling you to get back on that saddle and keep on riding. These are the things that's going to help you clear. These are the things that's going to help your manifestation come in swiftly. And these are the things that you truly need into your life. You know, whether it's like letting old things go, you know, listen to the music, you know, listening, you know, you're listening to music and there are certain things that keep popping up, you know, like I said, singing the song, you know, celebration, or if you, you know, um, you've been having a new love in your life and you know, love songs may pop on, you know, those are good things, you know, just like I was singing celebration. Cause right before I pulled down, I kept on hearing cool in the gang celebration. So uh, different things but your abundance you're worried about some kind of uh, it, it, you may feel like there are certain things that you're lacking in your life you know a lot of times when we feel abundance is automatically monetary value but that is not just all that that prosperity and uh, abundance consists of it be spiritual abundance is be uh, emotional abundance you know um, uh, uh, mental psychological you know all those different things that you're needing into your life and you're going on a retreat, even allowing yourself to isolate yourself. And that is really good. You know, this is, you know, a lot of times they feel like some people feel like it's bad to isolate yourself, but that's not true. You know, a lot of times universe will put you in sol uh, sol uh, solitude and isolation for you to get away from your distractions and just focus on you. You've been probably uh, heavy on your self-care lately. It's just fact is you, you know that there are certain things that's going on in your life you're tired of dealing with. You're going to get real serious with it. And just because of that, you have blessings. Blessings coming in, Aries. You, I mean, you got some beautiful stuff that's coming in for you. And you deserve that. I feel like anybody. You know, I even wish the good for my enemies. You know, it really is. But you... um. You have, uh, I think, in the last few days, you have had a very big, heavy hit. Not in a negative way, but it caught you off guard with these spiritual uh, advancements. Because they're telling me advance. And these things are like moving fast. And I see it. When I see it, it's like a smoking gun. And that means the bullet is like flying. So you had a spiritual uh, uplift. Like I call it a spiritual uh, switch. Popped on and it probably threw you out of whack. 
But these are the things that, you know, your gifts have heightened. If you've been doing a lot of emotional clearing, cutting tides, uh, healing through cosmic... Uh, cycles and stuff like that when you're allowing yourself to do that you make room for that and when you make room for it you whatever gifts that you have has been heightened but other gifts that it has turned on at the same time so it may have caught you off off guard and um you're allowing peace to come into your life you know you've been very selective about what you choose to select and i feel like everybody need to be like that very choicy about what comes into into your vibrations your you know your vessel of your aura your essence you know your your frequencies your vibrations are very sacred and you're being very uh very uh selective about what you choose to entertain you know if even things don't go right into your life you're seeing it as a life lesson, even though it may irritate you for a minute, but you jump right back on and keep on moving. And that's good. You know, it may have been hard for you to be able to do that for, before Aries, but you've been doing it. So it's been good. And just for that, man, look, you got a new love just coming into your life. I don't know what you've been doing. Say again, it's like you've been doing Aries, but I'm telling you, congrats, congrats. You know, you you've earned this. You earning your flowers, honey. And you needed that. Um but you are not recognizing your power. Whatever it is that you, you're still healing from, make sure you snatch your power back like it ain't, like you own it. Well, shoot, you do own it. But you take it back like, you know, as quick as you gave it away. Take it back. You know, it, it, you got to really know your power because you are forced to be reckoned reckon with. And you, you're maintaining balance. You know, it's just like from what I'm feeling about this, these Aries, it's like you've been going through little hiccups. And that's everybody is going through that hiccups. But it's just like with you, you have been very straightforward on, look, you know, I want my life to become better. I, I want to make better choices. I want to be around better energy. I want better experiences, you know, uh, a financial growth in my life. And you're seeing everything that you had to do to get towards that. And the universe is happy with you with that. And you already got to know is uh, that, that balance is bringing you because um, they're saying uh, new love. Uh, it, it's like divine timing is about to come in when you least expect it but it, when it comes in it's going to have a big bang to it like that big bang theory oh my god Aries I am so happy for you You, I mean congrats congrats come on through with the come through you, you really got that but you know hey we all going through different changes right now and I, you know I used to get uh, down when, when there will be something negative that I had to go into my change but now I get excited about it because it allows me to see okay this is what that work I got to put in I got to put in that work for that so um, you're doing good you, you know we all have these different situations where we got to heal from we see where the hiccups at and you know hey you ain't allow it to uh dwell you don't want to dwell on it you just allow and you'll say hey it is what it is let me allow myself to keep moving so i can get over and done with it i know what i want in my life i know what i don't want to continue to deal with and you making it do what it do but it, it's just like but there's a negative friendship that's in in the way there's somebody that is uh, trying to stay strongly attached to you, Aries. And this is that something. If they don't want to let you go, you need to let them go. They're not worth it. You know, they're not worth all the blessings and stuff you got going on. Because you see all this is about to take place in your life. And this person, whoever it is, they're trying to... Because they already see that they want a piece of your pie. And I ain't, you know, I ain't talking about the other pie either. You know, if this is dealing with a female. They want to hold... They want to get with the gusto. And that is... Uh, they're, they're not meaning something good for you and they're trying to that whoever that person is is trying to block your manifestations and they see it they see it and when I say I see it I see them lurking and I see them doing this and when I see them doing it it's just like when they're doing it they're doing this like yeah mm-hmm and they're resenting you because of the fact is you got blessings coming on and whoever this person is they 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 do you know they're the only one that from what they're showing me, you already know which one I'm talking about. You know who it is. And this is that person you have to be able to cut cut loose. Really cut loose. In which the universe is going to help you do that. Because your prayers is being answered with that. Because you already see what is it do I have to do to bring me to that next level. And you took that to God. <laughs> you left your, your, your issues at your feet. And when you left it at God, he's going to let it do what it do. Because like before, you were trying to do it on your own. And you see that that wasn't happening for you. So you had to be able to allow yourself to really uh, step out the program for this to happen for you. 
and you see the ideas and inspirations for what I'm saying, you know, you, you've been knowing what you need to do and you've been getting very strict with yourself about it. And it's showing you what, what can inspire you, the different ideas that's going to add weight to your prosperity and abundance that you're really working hard for. Because it's like somebody just uh, recently wanted to do a career change and you, you're about to come into it. You are already in your freedom. You know, if you've been um, heavy on, oh my God, I feel stagnant. No, you're already in a freedom. You, as a matter of fact, you're like higher level than you don't even realize you're at. But it's just like the, the way it's moving, you feel like you're stagnant, but it's not. That mess is about to take a swift turn. It's going to scare the heck out of you. And it's telling you trust. Trust it. You know, you're, you know these inspirations is giving you so much of abundant freedom for yourself this is abundant freedom prosperity anything that is uh, defined as something positive mar magical and just amazing is attached to that freedom that you got coming into your life and you truly 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 deserve it but there's something that you have to surrender you got to surrender at least and it may be that friendship I know there's a couple of them. I think Gemini and uh, Capricorn had that too you know going through that um, you know surrender and release you know, whatever it is, it served a purpose for you. It gave you strength when you were you felt weak. You know, and those things. And a lot of times we don't realize that negativity is a blessing. And so you have not been going in nature. You need to. Because it's like whatever this is, it's like when they're showing it to me. The nature, the, the uh, nature uh, card is going with the ideas, inspirations, and the freedom. Like if you allow yourself... If you allow yourself to really go into nature, this is going to collaborate with that. Like you're going to get some kind of ideas like they're telling you to get out of nature, clear your mind, clear your vibrations. You know, you may be up in your head and you're trying to do stuff. You know, you may be that worry ward where you have to do everything like an OCD type situation. You got to feel like you got to know everything to the to the to the T. And they're telling you they can do that, but you're going to have to clear it. Because there's so many things that's coming off in your dreams to tell you what to look out for. Because whoever this person is, they're showing me and they're showing... And this is the second time I've seen smoking gun, but this is a different smoking gun. This person is trying to add harm into your life. Because the fact is they see that light within you and they're trying to dim it. And that's that person, you you know, that is really not being good for you. You know, that's, the, that's your devil card. And, you know, whatever it is, like I said, that friendship is blocking that soulmate. You got uh, beautiful things that's coming in that, you know, romance and stuff that, that's trying to come into your life. I think it's, yeah, you got a new love. But that new love is being put on hold until that friendship ends. And, you know, that's what you need to do when you're going through healing. So, and it's just like the soulmate, even though it's in reverse, it's going to happen for you. And it's going to do it, you know, it's just like waiting in the wings for you. It's there, but it's making you have that choice to, you know, cut that, that other, you know, cut that zero off so you can get with the hero. It could be a female or it could be a, with a male. Uh, excuse me. But yeah, you're going through a healing process and you see um, with that healing is a person that, you know, consoling that person. And it's somebody that you have. I don't know if this is a kingdom husband, kingdom wife. Or as a twin flame, divine feminine, divine masculine. But whatever you're going through in the cosmics, they're already helping you with that. you got guardian angels and your loved ones that passed over. They're helping you. But whoever it is that's drawn into you to where it's already been divinely orchestrated, they're helping you through that. You may hear somebody say, hey, you're not dealing with this alone. Or, hey, you know, I love you. You know, um, I'm right here with you in these different things. And it's just like you have to call on Archangel Michael to sever that cord. Because a lot of times, you know, it's like Archangel Michael is there to help you uh, break away from old old uh, energy, toxic energy, unhealthy energy, um, uh, detrimental energy. Anything that's negative, that narrative, it, it flows through that friendship that is like not good for you. And that's not a friend. I feel like anything that goes against you that don't want to see you happy is never a friend. And it's just like, you know, Archangel Michael is, is divine uh, guidance. You know, they're trying to come in to help you heal. So you can bring that soulmate in. You know, you probably have to go through some more meditation. Did I pull the meditation card? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, it did. It's like the meditation because you haven't been meditating like you need to. Miracles is coming in. 
you got a lot of miracles coming in. You've probably been seeing it. And it's like uh, universe is bring, bringing you a little nip there, a little nip there. And you've been showing gratitude and they, they notice that, you know. And that's where they're showing you're, you're grateful for that. Even though you may be going through a uh, uh, emotional roller coaster at this point in time. But they, this is a part of your growth. We're all going through it. You know, you're going through those different moments where it seems heavy. It seems like it won't end. But these are the things that's bringing you blessings in disguise that you need it. Because it's showing you your worth. It's showing you your love for yourself. You know what you need, what you don't need. And you already know what you want in your life. Those miracles are where you set your intentions on. You know what you're bringing into your life. And you know you've been really working hard for that. And you truly deserve it. You truly do. And you've been actually doing the work. It's just that friend right there. That issue. And playfulness. You know, you've been having fun. You know, if you just, you know, if it's like a girl today. If you want to go to the spa or, you know, just go. You know, if you got, because I don't know around this time of year, you know, certain states. You know, do fairs and stuff like that. Go out, have fun, or just meet up with some friends. You know, do that if you, you know, you like uh, connecting with other people. And you've been taking care of your body. You've been working out. You've been probably doing breathing exercises, affirmations, you know, watching what you eat and all that. And the universe is like, you know, good. You've been doing that. This is like where it comes into playfulness. You know, you're probably running around, you know, doing uh, workouts and stuff like that. And you're bringing so harmon so much harmonious vibrations into your life, Aries. And you, you are so blessed to be able to have that. You have a really good reading on that. You know, so many good promising things that's trying to take, take place into your life. And for whatever you did, because I see... Ooh, that felt good. <laughs> it was like a weight looked off your shoulders. There was something that you have really been toying with for a long time that has had you in your head, that has had you up at night, that has had you crying, had you angry, all these different things. You finally allowed yourself to, to you know, forgive. Whatever it is, you forgave the unforgivable for whatever that is. You know, it, it, it showed you where where you're going that your anger can't go. And I don't know if you healed your inner child or you're hoping for a pregnancy. Or it's telling you, because this didn't either tell you to see through child's eyes. Because if, if it's not showing me an embryo, I don't know if this person, whoever it is, is, is wanting to be pregnant. Or there may be, you know, unexpected pregnancy. They may come in into the wings, you know, um, if that's what you're wanting into your life. Or it could be the fact is you either have to see things through child's eyes, you know. Uh, before, you know, we all used to be, we, we didn't have fear or hatred into our lives until that was taught to us. So when you're doing that, you're seeing everything from a child's point of view. You know, see the magic. See, you know, because usually when it's like, uh, you know, the child's eyes or whatever, it usually has to do with uh, enchantment. But this is the same thing. Either you're, you have healed your inner child or it's probably where that forgiveness came in. So it's something that may have took place into your life um, that happened as a child. And it really scorned you, uh, really uh, traumatized you in a way. And it may have been something that you healed from that happened to you as a child. And they're, they're telling you congrats for that. You have broke, broke, uh, you have broke a cycle. And um, they're telling you get back on your studies. There are certain things that you need to uh, bring back into your forefront of your hindsight I guess that's what they're saying because it's like when I'm seeing it there is like I see a light coming from here and there are certain spiritual studies that you come in and it's like it has a sign of hope when you see the you know you see the uh, rainbow is bringing a sign of hope because it's going to give you something that's going to give you uh, like a spiritual clarity that you may have been looking for because you may have been trying to find your way around something or your way to disconnect from something or the way to bring something back and they say uh, somebody um, you may not somebody's going to come up to you you may hear somebody talking about something it may seem you know you may walk into a middle of a conversation and it may sound interesting to you and you google it or it may be certain things that you may hear in passing like if you see it on social media or you see somebody you know wanting to do a chat about that or you can even video youtube and it may be something that you know is guiding you towards a spiritual purpose spiritual gift towards a purpose that you have coming on that you may not realize is about to take place but Aries, oh my God, you got a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spread. It's telling you, you've been listening, you've been listening to the stars. You know, you got a celebration of something that is about to take place in your life. But they want you to meditate more. You know, it, it's going to bring new ideas and it's going to bring you new energy you really truly need. You need to go back into retreat, retreat mode because it's, it's like when you do that, because at the moment your, your abundance is in reverse. 
um, and there are certain things that you have to clear out for that to happen. You know, uh, open that door for abundance. And it's, they saying it's going to be brief because I've seen the switch. So that's going to be very brief. You know, uh, uh, brief. You know, um, and you're gaining serenity. There, there's times when you've been up in your head. Like I said, you've been in a depression mode, and it's like that. Whatever that spiritual gift is, because that spiritual gift and that study goes together. Because uh, there's something that that's very powerful that's wanting to connect with you in that spiritual uh, vibration that you may not be aware of. Because it's like, uh, from what I'm hearing, it's like you can be a Reiki healer. You may have been, um, uh, you know, been getting creative ideas that you may want to try Reiki, or this is something you may want to check into. That maybe that's the reason why it says study. Because when they're showing me, it shows me a person that is, you know, helping align people's chakras and certain parts of their life. And, um, you know, you got so many blessings that's coming in. Your blessings is uh, divinely timed, which is coming in. You've been placing balance in yourself, but it's telling me whatever it is, know that you're, you have power to succeed over anything. Knowing you have power to conquer anything. You know, wherever your power has been placed at in, in, in fears, worries, concerns, they're telling you to take it back. You know, your new love is coming in. You know, it's giving you um, ideas. It's like, but uh, no, new love is coming in, but you have to release that toxic friendship because they're messing with your, your manifestations because these are answered prayers that you've been waiting on. And for them to be in the way, they're really trying to block. They're trying to, you know, spiritually block you from that because they feel like if they can't be attached to it, you ain't going to have it either. Um, so uh, ideas and inspirations is coming to you know it's just really new things about new avenues because whatever I'm seeing with Aries is just like you were going down this road and then you backtracked and went the other way so it's just like something may have ended for a new place you know a new avenue for you to begin and it's leading you towards uh, feminine I mean not feminine um, freedom you know um, it, it's really showing you emotional freedom like you have been chained to something for so long and you've been able to trust the universe on that but it's just like whatever it is that you are still feeling or fearing or are still concerned they're telling you to surrender and release that you know going through nature you know to be able to collect uh with your spirit totems you know just with the universe the cosmos you know it's that they always say it's good to either go out first thing in the morning or late at night you know, so you could be able to just speak to the universe, you know, watch out for your dreams because your dreams is bringing in so much. And it's like maybe your soulmate is trying to get into contact with you about that because soulmate is really trying to come into your life. And um, it's like really helping you heal and Archangel Michael is trying to help you do that. And the divine guidance is coming in, you know, to try to assist you because they're, they know there's miracles this coming in because you based your intentions off of that but there's just certain things with this this um your manifestation feels like it's stagnant or you feel like you're in a stagnant vibration because this person is manipulating trying to manipulate your timeline um but you're adding playfulness in, in the life you may be a jokey person you may be that one that always brings life to the party and they're loving the fact that you're taking care of yourself because maybe the situation you were in you may have didn't you may didn't uh, and that harmony that you place in your life because of the forgiveness, the forgiveness of something that you, that has happened to you as a child. But they want you to go back and study. But other than that, you know, Aries, you got some beautiful stuff that's going on in your life. Like, oh my God, congratulations. You really truly deserve that. And prayers on everything, you know, congrats on the, uh, on the new, uh, beautiful beginnings. It's about to open up because when I see it, I mean, this light, you may have been having dreams where you see, uh, a door like you're waiting in a hallway and it's just like you're waiting on God's uh, uh, heave hole to open your blessings up but you're seeing this um, you're seeing a door with a lot of light coming from it and it's just like so many doors is about to open for you and when I see one I when I see that person that's in that hallway and they see you know it's like this door and it's like soon as this one oh you know as soon as this one about to open then there's a light coming from the next door and the next door and the next door so whatever it is it's about to bust open so many different uh beautiful vibes is coming towards your way so it's just like get that you know eliminate that zero out of your life so you can get with the hero you could be a shero you never know but congratulations aries i'm gonna go ahead and let you see the spread uh for this you know i try to make sure i do this in case people want to like um you know take notes or anything but yeah this is uh oh let me see let me spread these out so you can see different things this going on uh serenity okay
There you go, Aries. If you ever want a private reading, please, you know, let me know. And um, all my contact information is in the description box below. But congratulations. I hope y'all have a blessed weekend. I know tomorrow's going to be Friday. I don't know if I'm going to do videos or not because I'm still draining from all these readings that I have. But, it, you know, it's a beautiful, productive drain. So, you know, if I don't speak to y'all tomorrow or whatever, you know, please have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible and safe for everything you do. Whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, you know, I'm sending so many beautiful, uplifting vibrations that, you know, you truly deserve into your life because, you know, um, we all been working hard to heal. We all been working hard to get into that balance. It's not something that's easy. You know, it can get very trivial, trivial at times. But, you know, hey, it is what it is, but it's bringing you towards bigger and better. So much love to you. Congrats. Peace.